All right, first one on the list is San Quentin Prison. This was established in 1852 and is the oldest prison in the state of California. Although the prison has a gas chamber, the only executions performed there are by lethal injection. Violence is a continual issue at San Quentin, even with a large staff of guards. A particular incident occurred in February 2006 when some racially motivated attacks resulted in injuries of 100 inmates. The riot started shortly before 8.45 a.m. in a dining hall that serves new inmates. It involved Latinos, who prison officials believe are associated with Nortenos, gang fighting with a group of black prisoners. In all, about 400 inmates were in the dining halls, and an estimated 86 were involved in the fighting. Additionally, two inmates were killed. The prison is known for its poor conditions, and a 2005 report stated that it's our opinion that it's dangerous to house people there. Let's see 60 days in since people there. How about that? Bang Quang Prison. This prison is located in Bangkok, Thailand and is nicknamed the Bangkok Hilton. What? <laughs> However, it is far from being a place that anyone would want to stay. The prison is known for routine torture of its inmates. Damn. All prisoners are required to wear leg irons for the first three months of their sentences. Death row inmates were required to have their leg irons permanently welded on. What? Although this practice ended in 2013. Inmates are crammed into small cells and death row inmates are often given as little as two hours notice before they are dragged off to their execution. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do my time there. Damn. What the? <laughs> Damn. That is wild as shit. Dang. Two hours notice? Jeez. Rikers Island. You know where this is at in New York and has a legacy of prisoner violence. A man named John Reyes who was a guard at the prison in 1991, mentioned being daily afraid because of the beatings and murders he witnessed there. Because of the prison's history of violence, it is now one of the strictest prisons in the world. Several reform actions at the prison have helped reduce the number of stabbings a year down from 1,000 to 70. What? 1,000 to 70? Jesus. And from what I've been reading, there are plans in place to actually shut it down for good. Yeah, I heard a lot about this prison. I, I didn't want to be there either. I know that. <laughs> Jesus. Alcatraz. This is a famous prison, y'all. It's located off of, what is it? Off of San Francisco, California, it has been shut down for many years. How, it, it, excuse me, guys, it how some of the most dangerous criminals in history. One of the most famous prisoners was Al Scarface Capone. The prison was known for its violent escape attempts. The most notorious being the escape attempt known as the Battle of Alcatraz in May 1946. There were also another escape attempt on June 11, 1962. Inmates Frank Morris. John Anglin and his brother Clarence Anglin. The three men were able to escape from their cells and leave the island in a makeshift raft. Where they reached the land is unknown. There's actually a movie about that. I don't know if y'all have seen that. It's a pretty good movie. It's called Escape from Alcatraz. But they closed its doors on March 21st, 1963. ADX Florence Supermax. FBOP, the Federal Bureau of Prisons. It's in Colorado and it's designed to hold the worst prisoners, many in near round the clock solita solitary confinement. Solitary confinement. The institution is unofficially known as ADX Florence or the Alcatraz of the Rockies. It houses about 400 male inmates, each assigned to one of the six security levels. It is designed for 490 inmates, but has never become full. The facility is best known for housing inmates who have been deemed too dangerous, too high profile, or too great a national security risk for even a maximum security uh, prison. Jeez. Inmates spend 23 hours a day locked in their cells and are escorted by a minimum of three officers for their five hours of private recreation per week. Jeez. That, 
Man, sucks. <laughs>
In the prison's health wing, nearly one in five inmates have been diagnosed with HIV. Ugh. The prison was demolished on December 8th, 2002. One block was left intact to be used as a museum.